Hi there. So you are welcome back to section two of correction of errors and suspend account. In this video, we are going to look at the practical examples of various errors that we discussed in the double-sided errors in the previous video, for which I have given the link in the description section of this video. You can check and watch, like and build understanding from there up to this part. Because in this, we are going to look at the practical example for so that you appreciate the video that we. The previous lesson that we or the previous tutorial that we had on this channel so this live premium educational consult if this video was helpful to you and other previous you have done consider by subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that every time there is any video being uploaded on the channel you can get it right away on your phone as notification so thank you as you subscribe to this channel so let's get into it so now we are going to take them one by one and discuss them so now we are taking the first example Car sales of what hundred dollars was completely what not recorded. So which type of error is this? You can tell me. Comment below in the comment section so I will give you a response to that. So this is an error for mission, why? Right? Because the word here is completely not recorded. So it wasn't the word recorded. So for you to do a search error, we are saying that these errors are committed. So we are saying that errors of omission or general double-sided errors are Correct using the journal. You are going to have my journal, then I correct this error. Cash sales of hundred dollars was completely not because I'm going to. Why is it completely not recorded? I mean that wasn't recorded at all. So I'm going to record it again in the respect. So first of all, you need to identify the account that will be affected. Cash sales of this was completely. So I mean the account that will be affected will be cash and what sales. Meaning that we had sales to the customer on cash basis. So when we made that sales to the customer, he paid us cash. So money was coming. So if money is coming in, we debit that account. And the one the item that is going now, we credit it. So here sales was going on. So we're going to credit sales and we debit what cash in the journal. That's what you're going to do. So take note of that. So this is my journal. As you can see, I have date details, debits, and credit column. Okay. So if you have dates, you have them written there, then the rest will pull aside. So here there wasn't days of room. We start on the date column. So we have cash and sales was completely not recorded. So we're going to record it again. And we are saying that anytime there is a sales and involving cash, money will come into the business and sales will go that that's our stocks or anything that we are the item that we are selling will go out. So the one that we are selling will be credited, or the one that's going out will be credited, and the one coming in will be debited. And here cash is coming, so cash will be debited. We are going to have cash. Cash being debited of what or hundred dollars. Cash. And then sales. Sales. Sales also will be credited with what? And of course, sales is going out to comply with the double entry. I hope that is clear. So that's how the recording should have been. So you see, the cash was a bit. When it comes to the yeah, separation, I mean, you can see the distance. You see the cash is a little bit at this side, right? And the sales is close to this. When it comes to correction, for, when it comes to the general, that is how we actually post or write items the journals. The first debit will be, so in general, let me have this voice so that you understand. In general, anytime you are presenting that in the journal, it's always presenting an indented form, indentation. In this session, from like, you're going to have a line like indentation. So the debit will be at the backward, then the credit will be at the forward section form. So always they are presenting an indentation form. So after this, you give narration. You tell us that narration will be that sales or cash sales of hundred cities, sorry, hundred dollars not reported completely was. So the so the narration will be cash sales of hundred dollars not recorded now recorded, and this will be the narration. Is always presented below the details after your debit and credit of the details for that account. Okay, then you have it there below. Other is as always make sure you provide. So let's say cash sales of hundred dollars not reported now corrected. Then you have done with that. So I hope that is clear. That's error of what omission. So let's take into the example two. Here is example two. So example two. Example two. Example two. So here you said rent paid with check was recorded in rates account. So what does happen here? Remember, 
So you can, you can see in this question, instead of recording the item in the rent account, recording the rent account, remember we said error of omission because they are within the same class of account and because they bear that similar name rent rate, you see the other rate are rent rate, they have that similar nature. So you recorded in the rent account, so the rent account. So here to correct that error, first of all, you need to record the item in its original account okay so here is a rent paid with check so here what was going out check what check was going as so well is a check account you're going to provide here anytime you heard of check in account we mean bank so bank here mean that we're having money that we withdrawn from our account that we pay to a customer all right and so it's more like cash but it was in the bank that we paid the form of check to a customer so we are going to credit the bank because that's money going out from the business then we will call the one that's coming we pay that check in the name of what rent so rent will be a debit because rent is an expense and it's an incoming item so we need to go debit it so you are going to record in the actual original account that you need to record which is what rent so rent will be recorded at the debit side of what which is also hundred dollars hundred dollars then which one was recorded wrongly so after instead of you recording you this in the rent account and the rest because you have already done with this one that with a check one you have already recorded in the bank account already but instead of you recording the address in the rent account recording the rate account so what will you need to do what we need to do here is since we got that address at the debit side of the rate account we need to cancel it off by recording that request so that's what we will do remove that hundred dollars from the rate account okay so here we're going to have your rate rate and i'll credit it with what hundred dollars so that once this hundred series at the debit side will rate as an error when i credit it it will cancel it off then i'll get it i i hope you get what i'm trying to say so that's how those is also done when it comes to their correction so let's take note of that i hope you're yeah, okay All right we'll be engaging more practical questions so we want to appreciate and understand it more so let's continue so example three we have bus stationery with cash of 112 dollars was recorded as what 132 in both accounts so here which error is this it's an error of what original entry the original figure should have been 112 but recorded as what 132 and here was made in both accounts so what has happened here meaning that there has been overcast both accounts has been overcast all right and the effect on the travel balance is the same it won't change the argument of the travel balance so here to record it all that you need to do is to find the difference between the error that has been made and the actual figure that should have been what recorded so you're going to find the error in figure and the actual figure that should have been recorded and use that one to make the difference i hope that is clear so here if i have here one one two and one three two two from two zero one from three i can get two right one from one guess so here means it's what 20 the difference of 20 dollars so i'm going to use the 20 dollars to correct that so as usual you need to have your journal then you present the answer so you get into it so that's my journal so here yeah, both station with cash of one 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 two right so here yeah, you need to understand your you need to analyze which item is going out cash right because we both stationary i use for the demonstration so money is going so money going to be credited and the one coming in is going to whatever so what we bought the station so this is coming in so we need to debit the station okay but here yeah, we have done that better that we record it the original correct entries was made but we call it an overcasted words amount all right so here when you find the difference between 112 and 13220 so mean that both account has been overcast by all 20 so what would you need to do if it is cash has been overcast meaning that we pay more all right so if we pay more then for you to reduce it once you are paying more it will be at the credit side of the cash so if you want to reduce it, you debit the cash account okay so that you reduce that amount that we actually paid i guess what i'm saying so that's how it goes so here i'm going to have cash cash to be debited with the difference of the 20 
20 dollars then stationery has also been so stationery stationery too has also been overcast by what 20 so we're going to credit it for station once the item came in we debit it and if we have debited an amount in excess of the original figure we need to reduce it by crediting that account and that's the station account we are crediting then it will reduce that 20 from the debit side and this since we paid more than we should have expected or we should have paid for you to reduce it to debit so that it will cancel from the credit side of the cash book so let's take note of always Make sure narration is provided. Unless otherwise not stated, you need to always provide narration for so you can be uh stationary, you can say that stationary overcast or payment of stationary overcast now what corrected. Payment of stationary overcast now corrected. This is how you should have come out with the narration. Narration just any information or any idea that i mean speaks about the transaction with the information you have presented the general and it's simple and accurate and easy to understand it's just an irish so now is always simple you can easily form an irish and then you are good to go so let's take note of that then let's take example four so i hope you tried example four for me it's very simple so here too we have sales on credit to lp was recorded in the opposite side of what each account has got each account and the figure was what seven hundred dollars. So which error is this? He said sales are on credit to LP was recorded in the opposite side of each account. Instead of re recording this original figure is seven hundred in the correct account record on the opposite side of each account. So opposite side there means if it should have been recorded at the debit side recorded at the credit and it should have been at the credit side recorded at the debit and when it happens I will call it error for complete reversal and you need to correct it so for you to correct as usual the tradition here is that you need to have your journal to correct such errors okay so i'm going to have my journal so that i'll correct it so let's take note of that so this is my journal so as usual what i need to do since was quite a so meaning that the sales to lp now when you are making sales to lp lp should be the one to receive it so lp account needs to be what debited all right but here we credited lp so what we need to do and here sales is the one that we are giving to lp and sales is going out okay so sales need to be created by redebited what sales what we need to do so these are the things that you need to understand so before you can do that and to get the original figure in the correct side of the account all that you need to do here is since they recorded that the opposite side of each account are 700 you are going to take twice of this figure all right, which is a seven and there's 14 dollars so that if instead of recording at the credit side record it at the debit side of sales we are going to credit the sales account so that it will reduce the debit balance of the 700 so that we get the exact figure of 700 at the credit side likewise the same goes to be done to lp so here lp was the one to have received that sales worth of what 700 but we actually credited lp and what and it happens like that's a mistake so here we are going to debit lp account twice of this figure is what thousand four hundred so that it will cancel off the credit side of that seven hundred that we made as an error in lp account so that we get when you balance we're going to get what seven hundred debit side of what the lp so we're going to have here lp lp is a company right it's an organization so take notes then sales sales Sales. So here, LP record what thousand four hundred. And I explain why the reason why we are using four hundred. So that we record, since we recorded it at the credit side of LP, that was a mistake in the double entry. We debit it. We debit LP account the thousand four hundred so that to cancel the seven hundred from the credit balance of forty LP. All right. Then sales to since we debit it, you are going to credit it thousand what four hundred. So that it will reduce the 700 from the debit side so when you balance it off the balance will be at the credit side of the sales account so you tell us error of what complete reverse are now what corrected and you are good to go that will be the narration i hope that one is clear so let's take note that's how we correct such so anytime the exact figure has been used but the double entry is not here to take twice of that figure and 
apply them to the OPSI site or apply them to where it should have been and it will cancel off those that have made wrongly then you get the exact figure there so that's how you go about that to take notes of that so as usual you have your journal there and this is amplifier you say bought equipment with check of 200 Ghana cities was recorded in the purchase order account purchase account so you remember which type of error is this you bought equipment with check equipment which is what a non-current asset but you have recorded it in a current asset account purchases stand for stock and stock is a current account right so it changes from one class of account to another class so here is an error of principle remember so when it happens like that what we need to do we need to correct it it's an error so first of all we need to record it in the eight original what account when you bought equipment we use check to pay so money is going now they're going to credit what bank then we debit what equipment that should have been the correct entry that they should have done so we're going to do same here so here i'm going to record here equipment equipment of what 200 equipment of for 200 okay and since we recorded at the purchase account we have done the correct entry at the credit side of what the bank but here instead of recording the equipment that we recorded in the purchase account we need to cancel off right because it has received that because it's not what we are purchasing for reselling but we are we are using to support the business world operations all right so here purchases need to be what credited so that to cancel the debit entry has been made as an error so purchases purchases all right and you're going to have where to be what 200 so that to cancel so here for you to provide your narration tell us the error of principle now what's correct said all right or equipment but equipment account wrongly recorded now corrected because we didn't actually record so we can't wrongly record it all right so that is that thing we are done then example six so example says cash pay to ben has been cash pay to ben has been recorded twice in both accounts 50 ghana cities now you pay cash to ben ben is the one receiving that cash so ben account needs to be debited with 50 cities only and not for twice or 50 and cash account need to be created with 50 and not twice or 50 and you have made both account twice twice so what would you need to do here is an error you need to correct it right so here's error for duplication and that are made more than what once in the account so here ben since ben needs to receive that 50 and he has received it he shouldn't receive 100 but i should receive what 50 because you have made twice or 50 you give me what 100 and so meaning that better account is 100 there's what 100 ganas in ben accounts and we need to reduce it because that shouldn't be so the correct figure should be 50 all right so all that we need to do here is to cancel it off by crediting ben account with 50 so that to reduce the 50 at the debit side i get what i'm saying then we debit cash with 50 so that to reduce the 50 at the credit side that we pay to ben which is an overcast so that's how it should be so here are going to have here cash and you record 50 then you have ben and you record what 50 so that when you go to ben account since you have 100 cities at the debit side mean they're going to credit ben account 50 and to cancel the 50 from the debit side and since you have 100 cities at the credit side of the cash account mean that when you go to cash account you debit a 50 that to cancel the credit 50 cities at the credit side so you get the correct we get to be standing in ben account as 50 at the debit and cash 50 at the credit so let's take note of that that is how we go about that then let's take on to example seven so with example seven it said rent overcast of 96 cities and sales overcast of 96 cities so rent debit side has been overcast by 96 and sales credit has also been casted over what 96 so you see there's an error for compensation and they will turn out to cancel each other because debit side 96 credit side 96 and they'll cancel so what we need to do is an overcast if the debit side of rent account has no overcast then you need to credit so that you reduce it off if the credit side of sales has no overcast then you need to debit so that you reduce so we are going to have sales sales to be what debited with 96 then you're going to have rent to be credited with what 96 and tell us that error compensation now corrected so that's our issue go of course 
sales has been overcast by what? And we have sales. Sales have a credit balance. When it's overcast, mean that the credit side is nine sales more than the debit side. So for you to correct it, you debit that sales account. When it goes to the account, you debit it nine sales. So you cancel off that nine sales at the credit side. And rent as well be overcast by what? Nine sales, which is also at the debit side. So what we need to, to correct it, you credit the rent as well that is reduced the nine sales at the debit side of the rent account. I hope that is clear. All right. So let's take on to our last example. For example, eight capital introduced in cash of one one two. So example eight capital introduced in cash of one hundred and twelve into the business has been recorded as of one two one. You see, which type of error is this? This is what we call error for double transposition. Both the debit and credit side of the account recorded as what one two one instead of what. One one two. When it happens like that, all I need to do is to find the difference between the error figure and the original figure. One one two and one two one. The difference is what? And I know the difference is. Let's see the difference. Two subtracted from one is because I add one to this, it becomes eleven. So I'm going to get nine. So meaning that the difference is nine. Nine plus twelve will give me what? Which is what? 21 isn't it yes it's 21 so the difference is what nine instead of we recording 112 we recorded what 121 so meaning that both has been what transposed so all that you need to do sorry has been overcast by what nice so all that i need to do is correct it so now capital since capital had a credit balance we need to debit it so that to reduce the nine nine cities so i'm going to get here nine Okay, so that the cash, which also had the debit side, which has been overcast by nine, also will reduce by crediting it with nine, so that it will reduce. And this is how these errors are corrected when it comes to correction of errors and suspense accounts. So let's take note of that. So this will bring an end to section two of correction of errors and suspense account. But so in the next section, you're going to look at errors that will affect the agreement of the travel lines or the single-sided errors and we'll proceed to deal with other aspects of suspense accounts and take what car questions on that as well so thank you for watching this video if it was helpful to you please consider by liking sharing and subscribing to as many students as possible thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video where we discuss single-sided errors bye bye